and welcome to Miss Amanda's PJ Storytime. I love that goodnight song. You can find it on YouTube. It's called the goodnight song. It's so nice and sleepy. How are you guys? That's wonderful. I'm doing good too. Tonight we have two special story times. Five minutes until bed. The bedtime book. I love the bedtime book. Are you all getting really sleepy? I hope so. But not too sleepy because you need to watch the video. Five minutes until bed. Five little rabbits hopped into bed on a chilly night. The littlest rabbit wasn't sleepy. I'm not tired. Can I stay up with you, Mommy? Mommy said, five more minutes. Then it's time for bed. Now, get your blanket and rest your little head. In the stars, there are numbers. Five, four, three, two, one. Four fuzzy birds snuggled down into their warm nest. The fuzziest bird wasn't sleepy. I'm not ready to sleep yet. Can we sing one more song, Daddy? Daddy said four more minutes till I turn out the light. One more song, then we say goodnight. Count with me in the stars. Four, three, two, one. Three chubby bears squeezed into their big cave for the night. The chubbiest bear wasn't sleepy. I don't want to sleep. Can I have one more marshmallow before bed, Daddy? Daddy said three more minutes before it's time for sleep. And yes, you ha may have one last treat. Count the stars with me. Three, two, one. Two baby beavers rolled into their cozy log. On the river, the youngest beaver wasn't sleepy. I'm too excited to sleep. Can I sit in your lap a little longer? Mama said two more minutes and one big hug. Then I'll tuck you in snug as a bug. Count the stars. Two, one. One fluffy fox climbed into her bed. She wasn't sleepy. I don't think I can sleep. Can I hear one more story? Mommy and Daddy said, one more minute 
We'll stroke your fur and pat your head. Close your eyes. It's time for bed. Then there was one more star. Everyone is asleep in the forest tonight. Put your head down to rest and say good night. No more stars to count because everybody's asleep. Five more minutes until bed. Yay! That was such a good book. But let's not get too excited because we want to be sleepy. <gasps> I'm getting sleepy right now. Mm, that was so good. I think this next book is going to make me even more sleepy. The Bedtime Book. It was a cool, still night, and Frank was cuddled up in his bed. He closed his eyes. He snuggled under his blanket. He was just about to fall asleep when... Frank! Frank! It was Mouse. Frank opened his eyes. What is it, Mouse? Someone has taken my bedtime book. Poor Mouse was very upset. It's my favorite. Oh dear, said Frank. Maybe your book is just hiding somewhere. But I put it outside my flower pot, squeaked Mouse. And when I went home, it was gone. Mouse to the flower pot. Scurry, scurry. Pam, pam, pam. Just as Mouse said, there was no book outside. Your book is gone, agreed Frank. this sniffed frank sniff 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 it's a trail sniff 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 frank and mouse followed the trail up down and around until at last it led to Did you take Mouse's book? asked Frank. Hmm, said Bella. Did I have a blue cover? Yes, yes, that's my book. Mouse was very excited. Oh, said Bella. I thought it was a lost book. I put it by the flowers where Owl lives. We'll 
find it, Mouse, cried Frank. They all rushed over to Owl's house. Scurry, scurry, scurry. Pam, pam, pam. But when they got there, they didn't see Mouse's buck. They looked high and they looked low, but they couldn't find Mouse's buck anywhere. My book is lost forever, cried Mouse. She was very upset. Bella and Frank patted Mouse's back kindly. Book? asked a voice. It was Owl. I found a book. Does it have shiny stars on the cover? Yes, yes, that's my book, said Mouse. Oh dear, said Owl. I took the book to Baby Hedgehog. I thought he would like a bedtime story. Quick, we'll get it, Mouse, cried Frank. Mouse shook her head. I can't take it back from Baby Hedgehog. That book will make him very happy. She walked away sadly, away to bed. Back in his bed, Frank snuggled his nose under a blanket. He closed his eyes, but he couldn't sleep. Mouse will be so sad without her favorite book, sighed Frank. She was so kind to share it with Baby Hedgehog. Suddenly, Frank had a wonderful idea. He rushed over to Mouse's flower pot. Pat, pat, pat. Mouse, Mouse, are you awake? I brought you my favorite bedtime book, Mouse, said Frank. I thought we could read it together. Mouse was very happy. The two friends settled down and Frank started reading. The story sounded familiar. Mouse looked at the front cover. It was blue with shiny stars. Frank, that's my book. We have the same favorite book. We do? How about that? So Mouse and Frank read their favorite book all the way to the end, and together they fell asleep under the starry sky. Snore, snore, snore. The end. The Bedtime Book. Yay! That was such a great book. <sighs> it made me so sleepy. And if you guys would like this book, call us up at the Wilmington Public Library and ask for five minutes until bedtime, or until bed, 
and the bedtime book because they're so perfect for your at-home bedtime stories. Or you can watch Miss Manda's PJ Story Time. Well, until next time, friends, stay sleepy for our PJ Story Times. And don't forget Miss Amanda's crafts at the library. Bye.